Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to ATM 6. So today we are going to be turning our attention over to doing a little bit of magic mods. We're actually picking back up not too long after the last episode. Um, we are going to actually be tackling two magic mods, two of my personal favorite 1.16 magical mods, pretty much back to back. And these are two magic mods that I really, really, really wish had been in 1.12 um, for for Tails, uh, alongside like probably my top five favorite like new magic mods for uh, the 1.16 and and of course some of these were like 1.14 when they came out but uh, I think my five top favorites uh, as far as the newer ones is Mana and Artifice, Elemental Craft, Pyromancer, Druid Craft, and Occultism, uh, which I don't think Druid Craft is not in here, I know that. Occultism is not in here, and Pyro is not in here. Okay, um, but those other three are pretty good, as well as Abyss 2, um, more of a dimension mod, but a little bit of magic to that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some inert crystals, because we are going to be starting into some elemental craft today. Uh, let's grab a little bit of gold here, and elemental craft's a lot of fun. Um, in this pack, since it's not really gated, we can kind of just move through things pretty easily. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves some contained crystals. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up... It's been a little bit since I played with this, so... I'm also going to grab the book, just in case. Oh, and actually, I just realized this pack has Maho Tsukai. So, we would probably do a little bit with that as well. Um, that mod's been around for a while. I actually looked at this for Tails, considered it for Tails, but ended up not uh, not really using it for Tails. It's kind of fun, um, kind of a little fun magic mod. Um, I'm not for sure what all's been changed since the 1.12 version, though. So, um, But we're going to grab our Elementalpedia, and uh, we've got our Contained Crystals. Let's go ahead... Actually, I could... Might as well use up the rest of these nuggets. So there we go. We'll end up needing quite a bit of these um, as as we progress. Uh, now, Elemental Craft is pretty straightforward. As I've been exploring, you guys have probably noticed um, those little orbs, um, kind of little orbs of light. Like, for example, I've got a water one right here. Um, and I think, I think water is the only element that I've got nearby. Let me go sleep real quick. But that's fine, we can go out and find them. They're pretty common in the world. And uh, we also got, from exploring a little bit, we did get some drenched ink. It's not many. We're gonna be making a bunch more of these today. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and grab those. Now the next thing I'd like to do is let's get ourselves, uh, so, well, let's get some impaired element pipes. And basically within Elemental Craft, you're gonna be doing a lot of piping. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab eight for now because we're not going to be piping over long distances. And then let's get ourselves uh, Element Extractor. There's that. And then, so we got that, we got that. We'll need uh, storage, right? So, small element container. Get some glass. Uh, small element container. There's that. And then, let's see, we can go ahead and get an element infuser also. There's that. Air silk. It's going to be string. So we'll want to get some string. We'll want to get, uh, that's iron, right? Yeah. Uh, white rock is stone. And then we'll want to get burnt glass as well. And then the shards. Uh, and then while I'm at it, let me go ahead, grab some of these. Uh, air. I don't have many air. And then fire. Oh, I don't have many fire either. Okay. I may have some in my dump chest. No, not really. Oh, that's fine. We probably got enough for today, I think. Um, and then let me go ahead. Get like a stack of stone. We got glass. We're going to need string. And we're going to need iron, which I've got. And then we are going to set out. And we basically need to find all these different, uh, these different nodes and I'm just gonna break this off for just a minute and we're gonna put down our small element container right there 
I forgot that took a, a slot. That's okay. For some reason, I was thinking, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this, but I, I got another water one right here. It's been a little while since I've done this, and I was thinking, for some reason, it was like the pipes, and you just right-clicked it on there or something. I don't know. Uh, we're going to set that there, and that's going to start draining, and you can see this is starting to fill up, this element container. It doesn't store a lot, uh, but it's going to store enough for our needs. Actually, I'm going to need another. And then what we'll do, um, which this will all be refined a lot more here soon, but we're going to put down a small element container there. We're going to put down a pipe, and we're just going to right-click right there, and that's going to start sending that element, that water element, over to this element container. And then at this point, we can take our element infuser and just attach that onto the top. And then what we can do is we can take, like, for example, our iron, and we can put that on, and that's going to turn into drenched iron. And we'll want to craft a little bit of this stuff. Let me just get, like, 10, and that should be fine. And then we're also going to want to get some water crystals. So if we take our contained crystals, is it contained or is it... Uh, No, I'm sorry, it's inert. Inert crystals. We're going to take these and put them in, and those are going to make us water crystals. There we go. And I'm probably going to make... I don't need a ton of these right now. I'm going to make, like, four for right now. If I find that we need more, um, I can come back out and do this. All right, and then let's go ahead, and we're just going to break this down. And then let me go ahead and just take these, because I don't really want the water. Um, I want to actually get my stuff back. And you can just put them in your crafting grid to get rid of those. Okay, uh, and we know where the water one's at. That one's easy. I'm not going to worry about marking yet. Now, the next thing, uh, let's go ahead. And now we're going to have to go out and find the other three elements. Now, um, fire, very, very easy to find, as you can see, in a desert. And basically, we're going to set it up the exact same way. Uh, so it is right there. That. That. And then we'll set this up and extract. Fire is going to be used for making uh, burnt glass. And I don't think we're going to need a ton of burnt glass, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Let me set this to uh, extract. Just right click, throw that on there, get that going. Uh, so I will probably just make a little bit more of that. For right now maybe like six uh, we don't need a lot of it the drenched iron of course uh, that we're going to need a bunch of but okay and i'm not going to worry about marking this one either because it's literally right there very, very easy to find now as far as our air and our earth uh let's just pop around to some of these places yeah there's air usually they're pretty easy to find um you don't necessarily have to be like in this kind of a biome to find air. Uh, you know, I could find fire here. It's not like super specific. Uh, but generally, you're going to have a little bit more luck in finding them in biomes that uh, that make sense. And as you can see, you're kind of running around the world a little bit. Kind of, it's kind of in the same vein as like the old Thumbcraft node system. Um, but of course, these are infinite. These nodes are infinite. Uh, elemental power you know infinite air um, infinite water and so on so um, they're not something that has to recharge but uh, you do have to kind of come out to these so I suggest just making a little bit of the stuff uh, whenever you come out to do it makes your life a little bit easier um, I'm just gonna go with like six again just because I'm here it doesn't hurt to make a little bit of it right now okay and then we're gonna break this down and head back out once again um, and now we just need to find Earth. Now, Earth, I would think, would be around a forest-type area. Uh, so let me see if I can find a nice forest for us. Oh, actually, uh, that's Earth. <laughs> Literally right, right here beside the air. See what I was saying? Like, you can find, uh, you know, multiple elements in the same place. But if you go to, like, a desert, you're most likely going to find a lot of fire. If you go to a swamp or an ocean, you're most likely going to find a lot of... Uh, Oops, clear these. You're most likely going to find a whole lot of uh, water and so on. So, And with this one, um, we are going to be making ourselves white rock. White rock is used a lot, so uh, earth 
you know, as you can see, we're going to be using that a lot. Plus, we're going to be using white rock for some building, but uh, we'll have it we'll have it set up for uh, kind of automation before that point. But let's go ahead and get some gold, and we're actually going to pop right back over to the same place. Um, I suppose. Well, before I go, actually, I've got glass. No, we'll just go on over. Uh, luckily, all of my nodes are literally right next to a portal. So, so we're going to pop back over to the air node. And what we're going to need to do, uh, basically what we're after right now, is being able to make the source receptacle. Um, and to do that, we're basically just going to need swift alloy and pure crystals. Now, pure crystals, it's going to be a little bit more involved. We'll get into that here in just a second. I don't know if we can make the... No, we're going to need swift alloy for that too. Okay. Um... But to get the swift alloy, that's actually really, really easy um, because we just need the elemental binding and some air. Uh, and to do this, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves elemental binder. And I'm going to leave these, actually. Let's just get, uh, well, let's get an element pipe. Uh, let's get two crafts of those, actually. And then let's get ourselves just a couple element containers. And. I'm out of white rock already. See? <laughs> just doesn't last. White rock's one of those things you just need a lot of it. I'd say what, I'm actually just going to leave this setup right here for right now because we're going to be using that a bit. Um, probably for making more white rock. Is there a bed in this town? Like somewhere, maybe? Hey. Get out my bed. Um, and I'm just going to make a new element extractor for right here uh, because they're not that expensive. And we're going to be needing quite a few of these here soon. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and make a few. Um, and then we're going to take our element container. I'm going to make another one of these here in just a moment. But we're going to put that one down. Uh, this is basically the upgraded version of the, uh, you know, the smaller element containers. And then let me go ahead and get another one. And actually, I'll tell you what. Instead of that, let's do that. So this can go ahead and start filling up, and that way I've got a bunch of earth built up in there. And then this one, I'll just, uh, once I find it, I'll just empty it out. Okay, now at this point we can stop using the impaired element pipes and start using regular element pipes, and then eventually we'll be able to use the improved ones. Um, but these can basically, they can just transfer a lot faster um, into here. So you can say, boom, and it fills it up really quickly. Oh wait, I'm gonna need a larger, yeah, I'm gonna need a larger container right that one actually requires the large container uh, to be plugged up to so in that case what we'll do for right now is we'll just switch this around so that and that which is really it's just as well to be honest that and then we're going to put this on top so there we go. You have to click on the exact middle there. Let's take a look real quick while that's while that's building up and just see if we have any other air nodes like really close by. Uh, there's one right over there and looks like there's another one right up that hill. Well, let's get that. Let's get... I'm going to need more white rock. There we go. Let's get another one of these. Let's go ahead and just jump over... And set these up to extract the air as well. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna hang out kind of around the middle of this. It should keep all of them running, I think. Okay, I went ahead and I freed up some chunks, so that way we can chunk load these for right now. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and chunk load this one. And I'll go over and I'll chunk load those other ones uh, here in just a moment. This one is uh, this one's loaded now. Um, that way I can fill this up. It's almost full with earth though, um, but we're ready to do some binding at this point. Uh, let's go ahead to the swift alloy. Um, it's gold, drenched iron, redstone, air crystal. It has to be in that order. So gold, drenched iron, redstone, air crystal. And let me turn on my particles for right now. Yeah, there we go. You'll get some little particle effects, so having particles on. Um, I was thinking this used more air, to be honest. 
This isn't too bad, but we will need quite a bit of air uh, in a minute. Well, we'll need a bunch of everything. So, And I'm out of drenched iron now. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I was thinking this took more element. So in that case, probably... Well, let me just go ahead and pull these up, and we'll take them over and set them up uh, here in a moment. But I'm not going to waste the, uh, the air that's in there. So I'm going to get a little bit more drenched iron. And uh, also at this point, I think I'm going to... Yeah, this one and this one, while I'm doing this, let me set that up and set that up and just start moving this. We'll just condense it down to like one jar, and that way I can start filling one with water. Uh, and then I'll just have to fill one with, with uh, fire little bit of a process we're working to something I promise but it takes a little bit uh, so we're gonna need swift alloy for each pedestal and then we're gonna need either fine or pristine gem a bit more swift alloy there too okay and that one's filled this one is about empty now so I'm gonna pull all this up and we're gonna take the one that is almost empty Convert that over, and do I have the stuff on me to make any more white rock? Okay, I'll get that in just a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this up to let it start extracting and filling up with some water. Uh, and then let's pop over. i tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and set up one for fire and get that chunk loaded just so that we've got it because we're going to need it here shortly. Okay, so there's another element container. Um, and then we'll just pop over and set that one up in the desert and chunk load it. There we go. So let's pop back over. I need to make uh, quite a bit more swift alloy at this point. Uh, so gold, drenched iron, redstone, air crystal. And I need to look and see. I don't know what it takes. Oh, and I'm out of air crystal. Uh, what's it take for the, well, first up, the improved element extractor, that takes pure crystal. Uh, and then the improved element binder, Ooh, okay, we'll just run this over. That way I can make uh, more air crystals. Would you stop pushing me, Kyle? <laughs> My gosh. So now I kind of got a little system going here. Okay, so we've got seven swift alloy. We can go ahead and do our next thing, I should think. Um, and I'm going to keep this kind of crafting for a moment. Uh, now, what we need to do now is we're going to need to make the gem crystallizer. Uh, so for the gem crystallizer, this is just going to be swift alloy and... I'm going to need to make a little bit more white rock. Okay, so we should be able to get the gem crystallizer now, so there is that. Alright, now to get our gem that we're going to need, because uh, each of these pedestals is going to require a gem, um, and it needs to be either fine or pure quality. Beyond that, and the very high fire cost to make these, um, it's not too bad. And then for each pedestal, it is two white rock. Let me go ahead and get the white rock knocked out. And we're also going to need five there. Okay. And these, of course, these can be automated. Um, it's not as important in this pack, but if you're playing a pack maybe that's uh, tweaked, like an expert pack, uh, it might be worth automating these before uh, you get more of a permanent setup up and going. But we're shooting straight for uh, something a little bit more uh, permanent before we automate. So. Then let me grab our element infuser, and we'll get this back up and going. And each of these requires a swift alloy, so if I make one more, we'll be good. And then I think the uh, the pure infuser takes two. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get that other one. All right, so now we should be good to go. Uh, now to get our gems, we're going to just be going for the fine gems. So if you take a look here, you're going to need a few things here. You're going to need an element container and a gem crystallizer. It has to be placed on top of an element container. You can't place it on 
uh, those little dinky ones as we start getting into better uh, basically better machines um, like the advanced machines and stuff they pretty much all have to be placed on element container or you can place them onto the reservoirs which we'll get into those uh, what's it take to make a reservoir on here it's going to be pristine gems so uh, a little bit costly at the moment and then you're going to notice three different things here uh, three different uh, like reagents basically uh, you have a slot here that accepts your gems basically you can put a diamond or any tier of gem in this case air gem you can put that into there as uh, your uh, kind of your crystal that's going to be used and then you're also going to have an air crystal or you know whatever type of element you're making and right here you'll notice this says optional uh, basically you can put in raw or powerful air shards and each one of these that you put in you can put up to I think it's 10 total shards um, and every one that you put in is going to increase the chance of a better quality gem uh, so I've got a few diamonds. Yeah, I've got a few diamonds here. Now, air, I don't have a lot. I have a few, but not a lot. So I think we will add maybe a few of these. Um, but we can put our diamond in right there. And then we're going to put in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and if, if I try to put in more, yeah, it's 10 for the limit on there. And then we're going to take and we're going to put in our air crystal on the top. And then that's going to start running. It's going to take a bit of uh, element. It's now drained all of that and it's starting to drain this down. Um, and you can see that we got a crude air gem. So not ideal. Uh, let's try again. If I had more air shards, this would be a little bit easier. But unfortunately I do not the nice thing is I've got a lot of diamonds so worst comes to worst I can just shoot for the shot uh, I think like earth uh, I'm gonna have a little bit more of yeah I got crude again I guess I could use a crude instead of a diamond I guess I'll go ahead and use the last of these uh, these aren't gonna have any use really beyond uh, there is I guess there is the element evaporator thing right I never use it <laughs> um, this thing right here you can get elements by just, it basically just melts down crystals. It doesn't produce a lot uh, or very quickly for that, or, or very quickly. Um, it doesn't produce a lot of element and it's really not worth it to us. So there it goes. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. It's my last shot with uh, shards still didn't get it and also worth mentioning there is uh, the solars um, somewhere in here solar element synthesizer there's also this and you can use you can basically put lenses into it and you can generate some element that way also pretty slow and gosh, I'm not getting lucky at all uh, I mean, if we had pure crystal, that would be great, but we don't. Yeah, finds a 20% chance. Oh, there we go. We got one. Ah. Okay. Well, in that case, we're done with this. We're done with the, the air side of things. Um, and so now what we can do with our fine air gem, we can make our air pedestal. Uh, so we're going to put the element binder right here. And then we'll be done with uh, air essence for now. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and break this down. We might need some more air crystals, but I don't. I don't uh, anticipate it before uh, we can make them a little bit easier. So our air pedestal, we're going to take element infuser, and then our gem, one of our swift alloys, and then we're going to take a couple white rock. And we'll give that just a minute. It's going to drain a bit of element from this, but uh, we should we should have way more than enough. And while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and pop over to here. Uh, let me switch these at this point because I'm going to need that one there, that one here. 
and there we go there is our very first pedestal the air pedestal all right uh, and then let's take our element binder I'm gonna let that fill back up because we're gonna need it and I need to pop over and get some diamonds as well but let's go ahead and set up our gem crystallizer and and we might get lucky we've got a few earth crystals uh, let's see if we get lucky I've got some powerful shards uh, so let's go ahead and just make a few more there's 11 this will give us a full chance on the diamond um, also another option I guess because if I recall crude gems have a higher chance than a diamond does we could do this oh we got it on the first try okay never mind we don't need that okay well that was a bit lucky I wish air would have worked out that well so we got the fine earth gem and let's go ahead and take the element binder and set that up and I've got to uh, I've got to get some more iron real quick and some diamonds as well and while we're over here uh, let's go ahead and set up I think it's two blocks out right I think so uh, we're gonna set up our air pedestal right there and we're gonna set up our air container right there and do I have the stuff to make some more element pipes? I do not. We'll just go with that for right now until I get over to uh, make some more drenched iron. I'm not going to set that to extract right now, but we're going to go ahead and set that up. And let me go ahead and get some more contained crystals also because we're out of those. And oh, I got air crystals in here, probably from that, uh, that structure that we found. And we'll let that craft up that's going to get us our second altar it's kind of an exciting moment when you start getting your altars because a little bit of a, a push to get to it and while that's running this air one is probably filled back up it is so i'm gonna go ahead and take that um probably won't need this anymore but i'm gonna leave it plugged up just in case um there is our altar Woo. and i'm gonna let that fill back up um okay so now we're gonna pop back over to the desert and then let's put down our gem crystallizer. Uh, fire is one of the ones I didn't have many of. So we'll just do that. Wonder if we can get lucky again. That. Uh, we got a crude. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go two and, whoops. Two and six. Oh, I didn't grab my element binder, but hey, we got a fine fire gem. Great. Let me pop over and get my element binder, though. And at this point, I should be able to just go ahead and craft the pure infuser, right? Well, let me break up another one of these. We'll get our pure infuser. So there's that. This machine is a little bit of a process to set up, but we almost got it. Um, and this is going to allow us to make uh, our last tier of pure crystal. Uh, which in turn kind of opens up a lot of things it, the basically the top tier stuff is all going to take pure crystal and then uh, some of the pristine gems and then fireite which is pure crystal swift alloy netherite through the elemental binder so there is our fire pedestal set that in there and i'm going to let this fill back up so leave it there cross our fingers that we get lucky water is one I have a lot of so that will definitely help uh, that and we're gonna do the same thing as before we're going to start off with just that and see what happens and then if it doesn't work then we're gonna put 10 powerful raw water shards in there and chances are we will get it after that Oh, we got lucky again. Something about that, like air, I went through like everything trying to get one. And while that's running, since this area is chunk loaded, uh, I'm going to go get our other two jars because they should be filled back up by now. All right, so there's our last altar pedestal. That is a little low, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. 
Um, I think it's got plenty for what we're going to be. Yeah, it's 92% full. It's going to be plenty for what we're going to be doing. Uh, and then let's just pop back over. Oh, yeah. And you know what? It's one other thing I'm going to need. Because I've got to have improved pipes. So let me pop back over real quick. See, I knew probably something would come up where I would be like, oh, yeah, I need. Uh, but I just thought when I was grabbing my stuff, I was like, oh, yeah, I need. Uh, I need me some improved pipes. So let's get just two more of the Swift Alloy. And then what we can do is let's make some impaired pipes. And let's make some improved pipes. Now the setup that we're going with four is going to be perfectly fine. And these are the top tier pipes. Uh, they move stuff the fastest. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to leave that because I think we're probably going to need it. Right? Because I got to thinking I'm going to need it here to make some more of that. Uh, we're going to set it up right over here for right now. Um, so the pure infuser is going to be out two blocks. Yeah, it's going to be two blocks out. So we'll go ahead and anchor that in. And then we're going to have the fire pedestal right there. These blocks, it doesn't need these, so we have to get rid of them. Of course, my vines just growing all over the place. Uh, this one is the earth pedestal. This one is the water pedestal. And you'll notice they all look different. Kind of cool. Uh, great for decor. I plan to use some for decor. Uh, okay. This is well. Needs to go. There we go. We are completed. Okay. Now what we need to do is remove this pipe. So put the wrong one in without thinking. Um, and we're going to just plug up all of our pipes. I've got to get rid of that Tinker's Island that's over there because it just drops slimes on me all the time. We're going to set all these to extract, like so. And then uh, to get our pure crystal, it's going to be one of each color on its corresponding pedestal, or one of each element on its corresponding pedestal. Uh, so air, earth, fire, water air, earth, water, fire, and then we're going to need to grab a diamond to put in the very center. So there we go. And it's going to start crafting. Lots of fancy particles as these elements kind of converge in the center on that diamond. And once it's done, we will have our very first pure crystal. So uh, these do require a lot, like this one was fully filled, and you'll notice that it's going to drop by quite a bit. Um, I think we've got enough because these were like 90% and I think it's uh, yeah it's high but there we go yeah like just enough just enough on like the water and everything okay so at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these back up because they need to go get filled back up again but I think it's like well so it's like 70% uh, that you need in these. I was thinking it was 90%, but 70% filled on these, and they do take a little while to fill at the moment. Uh, we're at the point now, technically, where we could make the improved element extractor. It's good, uh, but honestly, I'm going to prioritize getting source receptacles. What's it take to get the improved? Whew. Now, let's go ahead and set up our binder, and I'm going to make a couple more swift alloys. Okay, so let's get our empty source receptacle, our very first one. Now, we're going to pop over, and the very first place, our very first stop, but I kind of want to find a node that's not one of my main ones, and I guess it wouldn't hurt to get one of the ones that I'm currently using, but... Okay, so right here we've got ourselves a earth node. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our, uh, you'll notice that normally whenever I'm targeting it, it doesn't show anything, but if I have an elemental or an empty source receptacle, I can target it. And we're going to take this and just right click. So earth source accept acceptable. And then let's just warp on home. And let's see, can I get another element container 
Okay, so there is our element container. Uh, so we're gonna set up our first earth element right, uh, right here will be fine, honestly. Um, and then we're gonna put in our elemental extractor and then on top of this, we're going to put our earth source down there. Okay, so that's gonna start generating earth source or earth element. Uh, now you'll notice this took a little bit of durability damage. Um, I think these have five and the uh, the improved ones have 20 or 25, something like that. Uh, durability, I can't recall for sure, but that's really the main difference in them um, is just the durability, but uh, being able to move 20 nodes is actually really, really nice. Uh, but a little bit costly for us at the moment, I think, until we get some nodes moved over. Now what we're going to do is we are going to get one of every node and bring it over here so we don't have to keep traveling around. Um, so let's just pop over. We'll take out the desert first. That's filled back up. That's good to see. Now eventually we're going to want loads and loads and loads of all the different nodes. Uh, but for right now, just singles is fine. So um, I really don't think that this is going to stay right here because I have plans to bring a road right through here. Ideally, I want something uh, kind of like a little small island. I need to look over here. If I can't find a natural one, that's okay. Uh, you know, I can build one. Uh, but my plan is to kind of have like a little stone hingey type area with some um, like pillars and stuff. It doesn't look like this is uh, what I need. If I set it up on this island, am I going to be able to see the other biome? No, I'm not. Okay, yeah, this island would be good. Yeah, and then we've kind of got that island off in the distance. I like this. Uh, I think with the altar, I want to raise it a little bit. So we're going to say that like right here... Uh, is going to be the altar, the pure infuser. So we'll put that in right there. So there we go. That's all set back up. Earth's right over here. Um, now the nice thing is with Elemental Craft, there is the pipe frame uh, right here, pipe cover frame. Um, so you can craft covers. So we can hide our pipes and stuff like that, uh, you know, along the ground or whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is each direction we're going to have a setup here a little ways off so we're going to come out five blocks and then we're going to do come out like this and then right here uh, we're going to put in a block and then we're going to have our fire container And then above that will be our extractor. And then above that will be that. And of course we will change this out for an improved extractor. And then we're gonna be changing this out for a reservoir uh, in due time. So we need pristine fire gems though for that. So. so we got something coming together here. Now, is there an easy way in this pack to repair? Now I know Forbidden Arcanus has the Stella, but uh, th it doesn't work for this um, because the item, if you notice, the item changes whenever you use that, so you can't make it unbreakable. Uh, now I guess we could go with like Nature's Aura and go for High Aura in uh, Repair um, because this thing doesn't have a lot of durability, like a lot of durability points. Uh, so even something with like some passive repair. Would be quite beneficial. Um, I might give it some thought. Um, I guess there's a few ways that we could get some passive repair ticks and honestly nature's aura would be quick uh, to go ahead and push through though honestly I think what I'll probably do is use this first one up today. Yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and use this one up and then I'll just make another one uh, because once we get all of our elements moved over here it's gonna be a whole lot easier just to make another one. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop over and we'll go grab our water one and I mean I guess really um, because nature's aura isn't what I want to start next um, 
so really I don't even know that it's that necessary uh, because once we have a lot of essence coming in there's nothing all that expensive about this um, it's basically just once we get you know another one crafted and we can move more nodes over um, it's gonna get easier and easier so and of course having all of these in kind of like a centralized location it's just gonna make everything a whole lot easier to do um, and we can actually start setting up for the long term now instead of having uh, to like move our stuff around uh, because of course when everything was all spread out it just wasn't worth uh, the effort oh and I can uh, I can unclaim these I should do that real quick and I need to pop over and do the desert too but there we go we're gonna take the earth so technically we've got two earths but uh, one of them's for something a little bit different but I wanted to go ahead and get that planned out and we'll get that set up come next episode but, and boom it's gonna break yeah so five durability on that one uh, but that's all good oh that was supposed to come up by one I messed up that one but I'll just have to move it later all right so now at this point everything's a bit more centralized and uh, we'll kind of start working towards um, I want to get the improved element binder probably next episode uh, everything's gonna be a whole lot easier come next episode for sure can we get now uh, we can't actually make the creative element container that's strange I figured we'd be able to make that in this pack but uh, but yeah so come next episode we are going to be basically expanding on what we've done this episode and getting everything kind of set up uh, for a more permanent location so pipes ran and uh, various different little binders and stuff set up and then we'll probably start delving into a little bit more of the advanced mechanics uh, we will get our first little bits of fireite and uh, get some reservoirs and stuff like that made so as well as get the, uh, the little setup over there by the temple in place but anyways, I know it's wrapping up point for this episode, so we're going to end this one out here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out, and I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.